Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to do this correlation uh, matrix in uh, the uh, Mac, uh, <laughs> in the Mac version. So if you remember, we're using this little stat plus add-in. Uh, it's actually a separate program. So click on that. Make sure it's sort of hovering above here. Click on statistics, and then go to basic statistics. We're going to use this linear correlation. Pearsons. Click on that, and then we just select on this guy. Uh, and then just like we did before, we select all of our data. All right, so we're going to select all of that. Uh, control shift down. And then I have to toggle back to stat plus. It should show up in there. There's not any options here. Label in the first row is, is good. Click on OK. And then remember, it actually generates a new spreadsheet for you. So it doesn't put you in a new tab. It makes a new spreadsheet. And this, you get a whole bunch more data than uh, the <laughs> Uh, data analysis plugin for uh, regular Mac, uh, regular uh, Windows version, and some of the stuff we haven't talked about in class. So the one that we know though is this Pearson's correlation coefficient. So this is the same as what we've got before. These other things are testing whether or not it's sort of a significant. We we'll get to that another time in class. This kind of gives us more than we really uh, care to have. Although down here, it's kind of cool. It puts it all uh, correlated sort of in one one area and then it sorts it biggest the sort of biggest to smallest right so it says the green M&Ms is correlated with how many M&Ms when you're back that's the highest correlation that we find here at the M&M. so anyway that might be useful so that's what we get with this uh, add-in all right that's it